Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So I'm getting married next uh, Saturday, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. And I, I, I just wanted to come out here with you and, and uh, this time with my coffee and do a video to help mostly younger people that maybe are not married yet or they're looking to get married right now or they're in the process of um, they are engaged right now I, I just wanted to pass on a few uh, bits of advice uh, from somebody who is a little bit older uh, ha has been married before uh, who has made my mistakes and I've, I've made my, my, my I've been successful as well <clears throat> so I just wanted to share a couple bits of uh, advice with you, the young person, or possibly the person who is going through tough times right now that is already married. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, rectify your affairs and uh, create love and mercy in the heart of your spouse. Again, inshallah. I mean. <clears throat> so... I've been on Twitter for almost two years, I think two years. I'm terrible with time remembering. But about, about two years. And I've seen the good and I've seen the bad. I've seen men haters, I've seen women haters, I've seen a lot of uh, hurt feelings, I, I've, I've seen a lot of uh, overall negativity towards uh, the subject of marriage uh, the, the, the subject of mahar, of uh, rights in Islam, you know, towards the spouse, you know, and, and it just really seems to be getting worse. And for every hundred person that is, you know, people that are talking about marriage, uh, 90 of them are speaking about it negatively. And not too many people are talking about it positively. And that creates kind of a problem where it's, the internet is kind of saturated, social media is kind of saturated with negativity, and so the young person, you possibly, loses hope in marriage, thinks, what am I going to do? I know I, I want kids, I know I want to get married, I know I want a companion. But, wow, it doesn't look good out there. I want to kind of encourage that, that person to not give up on hope. Um, there's a couple of things that I, I, I need to mention. Um, preparation in marriage is everything. And yeah, I, I don't mean just like financially. That's the easy part. Uh, maintaining a woman... Uh, monetarily, financially, that's the easy part. Because you can always get money. You're going to get money, you're going to lose money. It's, you know, money's money. It's a piece of paper. But you know, marriage is work. You have to invest in yourself first. You invest in yourself first. Like I always say in social media, you have to become the person who you want to attract. Like I said on Twitter, what, a couple days ago, maybe a few days ago, um, it, it amazes me. I keep on hearing things. hope there's not a bear or anything close by. Inshallah, Allah protect me from that. Um, it's, it's, it amazes me when... when Mostly sisters, you know, brothers do it too. But they dress up with makeup and, you know, they accentuate their lips and they have pictures of their lips and uh, tight clothes and see-through and they accentuate their body. And it amazes me that they expect to attract a good man. And like I said in my post, it's like taking a fishing pole and trying to catch a bird in the sky. It just, <laughs> it won't happen. 
it won't happen. If you leave nothing for the imagination, <clears throat> you're going to attract only wolves. And then you're going to be really, really surprised in the long run when, 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 he, when, when he leaves you or there's a problem or he cheats on you or whatever. You know, it, it's, it's not the case every time, but for the most part it is. Because <clears throat> a person who's going to be attracted to your, your physical only is going to say, oh, wow, so look at her lips, look at her, and look at this, and look at this. Everything is, you know, wow. That type of mentality, you have to understand, speaking to the young sister now, that type of mentality, that type of man that's going to be looking for you and looking for what you have physically only, When he gets what he gets, that type of mentality, that type of man, he's going to be looking for what else he can get. A man who is enslaved by his, his desires, it won't stop with you. He might take another wife. He might go behind your back. Or I, I don't, I don't want to discourage you completely. Looking good is... is, is, is Islamically okay, but for your husband only. For your husband only. Value yourself. Respect yourself. If, if, if you want to attract a good man, don't show him everything. At the end of the day, you want to show him your heart. You want to show him the type of person that you are, your, your character. Because this will all go. It'll change in time. I promise you. And then what do you have? <clears throat> the other thing that I wanted to say. This is a big one. Ooh, that's cold. It's time for a refill. Look at that steam. Steam action going on. The other thing I wanted to say, and it's a big one. <clears throat> A lot of young people get wrapped up on is the difference between love and companionship <laughs> it's a big one right everybody thinks that uh, oh marriage should be you know like a Bollywood movie you know you have somebody you know, a man says you know running through the fields and <laughs> You know, chasing after each other. That's fiction. Okay? That's fiction. That's, that's infatuation. There's a difference between love and companionship. Love before marriage. Okay, let me be so clear. Before marriage. Will have you doing, saying, some stupid things. Before marriage. You know, your your قلبي, your حياتي, حلب الطيب الغالي, عزيز أشوفك من وا ترى ما جاء على البالي بشوف عيونك الحلوة. I mean, you're reciting like songs to her, and oh, يعني your uh, your your face is like the the moon, ma sha Allah. And what will I do with you if if I don't have you forever? You know, this is a moment. <laughs> this is this is not real. This is not an investment. To a relationship, women are 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 a creation of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. That are very much affected by what they hear, because what they hear goes to the heart. This is why we have wali, right? This is why we get the wali involved, because the wali is a man, and he hears this قلبي حياتي نور العين, and he says. Hey, Come here. That doesn't work on me. I'm her protector. I'm her wali. So leave all of that Habibi nonsense and tell me who you are. Introduce yourself like a man. Come to me directly out of respect. If you love her, that's another thing, fellas and young sisters. If you value her, if you respect her, if you 
really want to show her the kind of a real man that you are. Let the wali get involved very soon. It'll show a lot of respect. Sisters, if you have somebody who's asking for your hand in marriage, <clears throat> and he says, oh, I don't want to, let's just, you know, let's just marry, let's just elope. We don't have to tell your dad, let's just go over here, we're in love anyways, let's just go run away and everything. Block him, delete him, don't talk to him, delete his pictures, run, run, run away, run away. Because if you have somebody like that, he's not thinking long term. A man will want to get to know your your in-laws if they're not so oppressive and crazy or whatever you know sometimes that's the case a lot of the times it's not it's just uh i think fear in the beginning <clears throat> so there's a huge difference between love and companionship i will take companionship any day of the week i've learned the difference companionship it's going to sound pretty cliche but it is, it really is. Being married is like being with your best friend. You have to, I know it sounds cliche, I know. But it's the truth, I, I guarantee you. I mean, just think about it. Companionship, you go out with your friends, you've known, uh, uh, you've, you've known them for years. You know how they are, you know what they like, you know what they dislike, and you do what they like, and you stay away from what they dislike. You know, you have different friends that, okay, I can say this around this guy, but I can't say it around this guy because he's not interested, he hates that subject. That's how we have to learn about our spouses. That's how we have to learn. And we kind of have to, we have to, that's what the whole process of, of, of meeting with her, meeting with her family, you know, uh, very important to get involved with the family because they're going to be your support, man. Bro, when you mess up, when you mess up and she goes crying back to her father about, oh, well, what did I do? Oh, my God, he, he did this and uh, we're having a fight. We're having a di you know, disagreement. Then the spousal family your, your father-in-law and your mother-in-law will actually care because they like you as well. And they'll say, oh, okay, whoa, 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 let's, let's call him over. Maybe just stay over the house for one day, let things cool down, and then we'll invite him over and we can solve this. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. We're going to work it out. Often this is not, <laughs> often this is not the case. Uh, because you didn't, make the investment, the time investment, to actually have a relationship with your in-laws. Like, yeah, you don't have to be a buddy-buddy, but there has to be some type of respect. There has to be some type of a discourse. You know, call your in-laws, hey, what's going on? You know, go over to the house if, if uh, you're local, if they live local. And drop by for you know, a dinner or so every week, or whatever. You need that spousal support. Uh, from the spousal family, I mean. So, things are bad out there. They, they, they seem bad. I think social media is a kind of a, a warped perception of what life is, definitely, uh, mostly. You know, just like I said about the bee, uh, the hadith about the, the bee, uh, you, you can really do good things on the internet and you can also ruin yourself and you can also confuse yourself and cause chaos in your life. So you want to do the former. You, you, you want to benefit, inshallah. And so I would encourage the young person that is, that is watching this not to pay too much attention uh, to the men hating and all men are like this and all women are like this and I'm never going to get married and men never do this and men never do that. Remember, 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 before you even start to think about marriage, before you even start to think about marriage, you have to prepare. 
you have to prepare yourself. You know, you can have a list or something. Having a list is fine. <clears throat> but how about having a list for yourself? How about that? Having a list for yourself on things that you would like to change about yourself. Because as Muslims, as human beings, we're constantly supposed to be evolving positively. Right? And so, you know, yeah, I see the stories. I, I see the concerns online. Some of them are valid. Some of them have really been through some tough times, I understand. And some bad things have happened <clears throat> before marriage. Yes, I understand. There's players out there. There's, there's men that aren't, uh, that aren't good all the time. But take it as an, ex as an experience. Really. Just take it as an experience. Don't throw a blanket over all of men and say men are bad. Because nine times out of ten, the, the people who say that men are bad are the ones that have been, I'm not saying for everybody, but usually, the ones that say that men are all bad, those are the ones that have been in premarital relationships, let's call it. Uh, maybe physical, maybe not physical, none of my business, but I'm just saying. They were talking to somebody online that, and saying some things that they shouldn't have said and sending some pictures that they shouldn't have sent. And you got yourself in trouble. You know, you fell for it. You fell for the game. The game overwhelmed you. And then you found yourself doing some precarious things. And that's why we really have to be careful. We really have to stay away from those things. They will get you in trouble. And the shaitan is waiting for you. He's waiting for you on the Salat al mustaqim He's waiting for you. He's waiting to send you right, left, every which way, but the way that you're supposed to be going. So I would say to the young, let me talk to the men. I would say to the young men, don't rush marriage. Let me tell you something. I've got some DMs where young brothers tell me, I'm 20 years old. I want to get married. I can't control this anymore. I need to be married for physical reasons. Bro, you're a man. let me tell you something. You're a man. You're going to have those desires before marriage. You're going to have those desires in marriage. Well, I guarantee you, you can be married and you can be intimate with your wife uh, and still have desires left over. I guarantee you, I promise you. So this is the thing that you, maybe you need to work on that yourself, your, your desires. Um, maybe you have too much time on your hands. Maybe you, you, you need to do some exercise and exhaust yourself. That extra energy that a 20-year-old male has. Maybe you need to do that. It's, it's not all about, I, I know it's a reason to get married, but listen, young man, you don't want to make the mistake of getting married early just because of your desires. If you don't have what it takes, if you don't have what it takes to be married, because pleasing your wife is the easiest thing in the world. Let me tell you, it's the easiest thing in the world. But that's, it's not marriage. That's not marriage. And it's not even a big part of your marriage. Because when you have that fleeting moment and you're good, and you're good, then what? <laughs> then, then what? What are you going to do? Are you going to be intimate 24 hours a day? No. Then you go back to the, the reality after that feeling leaves you. You're going to go back to the reality of having to work hard, of doing things which please her or him, uh, you know, the woman to the man. Um, staying away from speech which she doesn't like. Going to work in the morning no matter how you feel, no matter what kind of wage that you get. Going to work, you're the provider. Like I said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you that degree of, above women of protection and maintenance. You got to go out and earn it. It's not just a title that you can say, 
I'm the man. <sighs> you, you have to do what I say now. You have to. Uh, what, what woman is going to respect you if you put her in poverty <laughs> and you can't provide for her? And uh, you're not even mature. You can't even handle her. You, you know, that's why I say, young brother, don't just marry because of desires. Don't do it. Just wait. It's going to be there. There's 8 billion people on this planet. 1.8 billion of those people are Muslims. Maybe 70% of those are Muslims. There's going to be out, someone out there for you. Don't worry. Don't worry. But bro, take it from me. You want to be prepared. And there's many ways to prepare. Fix yourself. And never marry a woman who is... <clears throat> Uh, oh, she's smart, and she's um, she's smart. She's beautiful. She's always in a good mood. She's always positive. Oh, she's gonna make me positive too if I marry her. <laughs> no, no, you have to be happy with you. <laughs> you can't <laughs> like being close to a happy person. Yeah, it's kind of infectious, but it's not gonna be there the whole time. Right, you have to be a happy person. If you're a miserable person, a man, marrying a happy woman, that happy woman's eventually going to be. This guy's wearing me out. This guy's too much. I constantly have to help him. I constantly have to lift him up. I constantly have to give him pep talks. She's going to get tired, and she's going to be on the lookout for Mr. Positive, Mr. You know the the guy who is evolving, and she's. I'm going to look at him and look at you and like, oh, God. Don't do it. That's why I say again and again and again. You really need to be first what you want to attract. You have to be happy with yourself, help with yourself. You have to be confident within yourself. You have to know what you're doing. You know, a woman is, an, is expecting you to lead <laughs> and she's just not going to follow you because you have the title of husband. No. Don't fool yourself, right? Don't uh, Save yourself the misery. Save yourself the time. Save yourself the pain. <laughs> just prepare yourself. Okay. Uh, I hope that that uh, little piece of advice uh, helps, inshallah. Until next time, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.